Relationships can be hard, but for some people, so can being single. Author and relationship expert Aaron Jordan is here now with three things that women in particular should focus on while they're waiting for the right one to come along. Great to have you with us today. Um, I appreciate you for having me. Yeah, so you're helping single folks kind of find themselves first before they find a relationship. Yeah, yeah, I think I think um, before you get into that relationship or if you come out of that breakup, it's certain things that you have to have to have to do. Take time to yourself. A yeah. lot of people don't do that. What's your first tip? The first the first tip I think is um, just just shift your focus and focus on new things, mm -hmm. new skills, new talents, because um, if you do that, discoveries show that some of our, uh, our greatest abilities, our greatest talents are discovered, whether it's going back to school, get another degree or or focusing on starting that business that you've been wanting to start for years too as yeah. well. It may sound selfish to talk about focusing mm -hmm. on yourself, yeah. but that's really a good thing to do. Yeah, and then, then another one is you become selfish, it's okay. Mm -hmm. It's okay to be selfish. It's okay to focus on you. Because the thing is, during that selfish stage, I'm not talking about being conceited or bullheaded, but to the point uh, where you're focused on becoming the best you possible because you went through a lot of uh, tumultuous things in your relationship mm -hmm. prior to. Yeah, so and that'll, you know, being kind of confident in yourself mm -hmm. probably helps you attract the kind of person you want to attract. Too. Exactly, and, and then if, you, if you're dealing with uh, self-confident issues, being selfish can actually help bring that out out to as well. And then another thing, people, you should not date uh, before you're ready. Mm -hmm. Because uh, one, one thing that you'll understand is that if dating before you're ready, you'll add emotions on top of emotions mm -hmm. uh, too as well. So uh, dating, dating, not dating before you're ready is, is one of the major keys. I get so many emails about that because you have, because people uh, shift their focus, they fall into learned behaviors mm -hmm. when they date before they're ready, they feel pressured. Yeah. So just going through those three steps and just following those, I think you'll be very good. Yeah, how do you know when you're ready? Well, when you're ready, I think it's one of those things that uh, when you know, you know. But the thing is, you don't wanna move before it's time mm -hmm. because you may, uh, like I always say, you may push yourself further away from the person you're specifically supposed to be with. Yeah, that's a good point. What do you do with well-meaning friends who want to fix you up? I know all too well about that. The thing is you have you have to be you have to stand your ground on that. You know, you have to really uh, stand your ground and say, okay, well, I'm not mentally ready. Because a lot of times your friends, family, they can actually pressure you into uh, being with someone or hooking up with someone before it's time. Yeah, definitely. Mm -hmm. So it's gotta be on your timetable. Gotta be on your timetable. Take time is your most valuable asset. Yeah, for sure. Mm -hmm. All right, what do you have going on these days? Oh, um, we have the uh, Know Your Worth, uh, the fourth annual Know Your Worth Women's Relationship Conference coming up in October. Mm -hmm. I'm so excited about that. It's, this is our fourth year. It's grown so, um, so, so big in such a short period of time. Uh, uh, we have a new nonprofit partner this year, uh, Epic Girl. Uh, the CEO, uh, Ms. Stacia Freeman, she's a wonderful person. Uh, she's doing amazing things with, uh, with young girls between the ages of 12 and 18. Nice. And then also I have a new book that's going to be released uh, going into the fall season. It's called si The Dating Devotional, 60 Days to Revamping Your Thoughts on Date. All right, you're a busy man. <laughs> Thanks for being with us. All right, I appreciate you having me. We appreciate it too. All right, Aaron's latest book from the both sexes is available on Amazon. For more information, we're going to link you to his website from our site at newschannel5.com.